So let me tell you why this beat up old disc is way better than my $3,000 brand new tiller. This thing is six foot wide, which is a foot wider than my tiller. It does not care what's in the ground. It's very simple to maintain. Doesn't even have bearings. You just gotta grease the crap out of it. And it's great. It, you can hit rocks, you can hit stone, uh, and it doesn't do anything to it. And you can move about three to four times as fast than you can with a tiller. I'm not saying the tiller don't have its place, but come check this out. And then there's this thing. I was super excited about this, and I'm not saying it doesn't have its place, because it does, but uh, this sucks. Like, I hate tilling large areas, rototilling large areas with this. I'll do the disc any day over this. You can go about half a mile an hour, you find every single rock, stick, root, you name it, and you gotta pray that your slip clutch works, uh, it's just, it's terrible. It's sending all that vibration through your transmission, through the PTO shaft. You can never let your guard down with this thing. It's a pain in the butt. I'm not saying it doesn't have its place. It's going to be awesome for small gardens and stuff like that. But my money's on that disc. I love that thing. So conclusion, don't go running out there and buy a $3,000 tiller unless you absolutely need it and are, know where you're going to be tilling. It's in good ground, clean ground, but all these, you hit something like that, you're going to know it and it sucks and uh, make my living with a tractor. So if I blow out the rear end because of something stupid that I couldn't see that was underground four inches, was it really worth it?